Good morning, everyone. It's a little chilly today, but a lot of people already looking ahead to a bikini season. And especially when it comes to women, there are the trouble areas. It's the do 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 do. There's all those regions here, right? I don't. They, they don't. They don't actually make that noise, but in my mind, they do. Bruce Cron, celebrity trainer, joins us now. At, it is probably the hardest thing for those trouble spots, and you have a big piece of advice is to be aware of them, right? Yeah, there's a really simple, like I can tell you exactly how fat is going to leave your body. And here's what you can do. So you, you, everyone at home, you can do this right now. So you should do this. Okay. So touch your face. Uh -huh. So when we touch your face and you feel that it's warm, it is. you feel the fat on your face. Okay. See how it's kind of squishy and malleable? Sure is. Okay, so now you want to touch one of your trouble spots. Oh. So for women, it's usually... It's usually like a love handle. Yeah. Or sort of this, re this region here. That yeah. region there yeah. can be like here, the saddlebags, yes. the, the bingo wings. Bingo wings. You know, yeah. whatever, they, whatever the problem is. And right. when you touch that fat, mm -hmm. you'll notice something really unique about it is that it's a lot harder. Yeah. So you touch it, it's a lot harder, especially like cellulite, yeah. and it's a lot cooler. And what this is showing you is there's a difference in the blood flow to those areas. So fat that's easy to lose mm -hmm. is warm and squishy. So the okay. first fat you always lose is from your face. Right. That's why you lose so many people go, oh, hey, you lost. You look amazing. You look, you're looking good. Everything else could be the same. Half the time I'm doing this, though. Well, that's true, right, but so that's the model pose. Yeah. <laughs> but then if you, if you actually, if you look at those other areas, it's a lot cooler. Mm -hmm. The blood can't interact that as efficiently. So we want to look at ways that we can improve blood flow to those trouble spots to it. speed up fat loss. A lot of it has to do with what you put into your body, of course, right? Oh, yeah, big time. So one of the worst things, this is really interesting, actually, is... Uh, there's, if you eat a lot of sugar, yes. if you eat a high sugar meal, it'll mm -hmm. actually reduce your body's production of something called nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is the same thing that Viagra works to oh, increase, hello. okay, so because yeah. it dilates blood vessels right. for the desired effect. Yes. So when you eat a lot of sugar, it reduces nitric oxide. Okay. It's like anti-Viagra. It constricts blood vessels, and so the blood can't interact with those trouble spot fat zones as well. I see. So we want to keep sugar low, which, of course, you've heard before. Right. But one of the things you really want to do is to time your nutrients properly. Uh, the, one of the tips that I saw that you, you provided here was the lemon water starting yeah. your day. That I used to do that, and yes. I quit. Well, you should get back on it because really? lemons, first of all, it's a gentle detoxification yeah. with the liver. The liver is very important for fat loss, but mm -hmm. it also makes your body more alkaline. Okay. And when your body's more alkaline, when your pH is more alkaline, it improves the efficiency of blood flow again. Does it matter the temperature of the water that you have with the lemon? Well, some people really, they recommend warm, right. like, you know, at room temperature or warm. I, I'm not so fussy about that, okay. but certainly you can do that. Give it a shot. At Give least you're doing shot. something. Absolutely. And I see maple syrup here. Is that right? Yeah, you can do the maple syrup, that sort of thing for sweeteners, post-workout. But okay. this is one of the best foods you could possibly eat on planet Earth. Good old protein? Eat, well, yeah, and eat the whole egg. You have no worries about the cholesterol in the egg. That's yeah. absolutely a myth. Uh, there's actually a lot of myths I, I bust in that book. Yeah, you do. So there's this, this is one of the best things you could start your day with. Helps mm -hmm. with increasing, actually, levels of good cholesterol. Helps with hormone production. Mm -hmm. Help you lose fat, build muscle. Uh, is this flax? We have some flax here. Ground flax seeds really cool. If you've got love handle fat, for example, it can, it, ground flax seeds can be um, actually very beneficial for helping to lose that fat. Oh. Because it helps to control the hormone insulin, uh, and insulin blood sugar issues have been indicated in that area. And it's so, I don't know why you went like this to me. <laughs> you don't have that area. Yes, I do. Indicated right in this, this area. region here. As soon as Bruce walked in, by the way, I went, hello, muscles, because he walked in like this, and I went, oh, I'm sucking in. Um, and some granola. Are these uh, homemade? Yeah, this is these? really delicious. Okay. This is a great post-workout snack. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to have something after your workout, choose something like this. It's got lots of carbohydrates, some protein. That's great. But you maybe don't want to start the day with that. If you're starting your day, you hear it is, it's breakfast time. Go for the protein, go yeah. for the fat, go for the fiber. This is great pre-exercise. It'll help you to lose your trouble spots a lot faster than as, it, as, it, unless you, and as opposed to, say, for example, having like orange juice or that sort of thing or high-carbohydrate selections. You always see the commercials saying chocolate milk after your workout. Oh, my goodness. Chocolate <laughs> milk after. The, I mean, I'm, not, I'm just not very pro-milk. I mean, it's just my personal opinion. Yep. But chocolate milk is full of lactose. That's very problematic for many people. Sugar. Increases milk, uh, increases, sorry, mucus production. So yep. that's inflammatory. That's bad. That increases cortisol. Mm -hmm. And it's just basically, it's like junk food. Yeah. It's yeah. delicious. Yeah. Okay, okay, just it's moderation is key. Moderation is always key, no yeah. question about it, but you want to be a little bit more scientific about how you approach this. So if you want to okay. lose those trouble spots, the methods I outlined in that book are what is going to do it.